The renovations of that house where the people brought the um, the receipts. It's almost done and we're down to getting the flooring installed and I've got Before we get too deep into this video, please guys, if you do not have an IRA account and you are eligible to open one, please open one immediately and contribute to your financial future. I would love it if you would open up an account with Webull because you can get two free stocks and they're usually worth between $12 and $24, sometimes even $1,500. But you need to be regularly contributing to your financial future. Thank you very much. I wanted to do a video on how I can get the LVT um, a big discount. Let's turn the radio off so I don't get in too much trouble. How I can get a uh, deal on the LVT while taking care of four kids. There's one in there too. So in between all the lost socks and the kids fussing and fighting and trying to bite each other, I figured I would show you guys and try to figure out if we can save big money by shopping at Lowe's and um, doing coupon stacks and things like that so I can get about $350, $400 off the LVT to complete the rehab on that house. Um, all the painting's done, all the subfloors are done. Everything's good to go other than the LVT. Depending on when you join the channel, you may or may not have seen the walkthrough video of one of my disaster evictions where they totally trashed the rental. They had had seven evictions and I had taken it over from an elderly landlord and then proceeded to deal with this absolute mess. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I'd encourage you to watch through the end of this and then um, follow along to that specific video. Anyway, this specific property was a disaster and we are getting very close to it to the point that all that's needed to be done is flooring installation, which I'm sure is as hard to know. We've done uh, encapsulation and sealing and all sorts of crazy stuff on that property to try and get it ready for the last steps of the flooring and I guess the kitchen. Um, we're redoing the cabinets and the countertop, but that can be done in a day. Rehab took definitely longer than I had expected, but here it is about a week or so ago. Final painting was done and ready for the floors and the cabinets. So I thought step one was going to be for me to tell you to go to the bank and get a large sum of cash in order to start this snowball rolling, but uh, I found out that I was wrong, and I was wrong in a good way, so I'm still showing you these shots of gratuitous money because... I spent no less than 30 minutes at the bank because I thought that I had broken their tube. For the real step one, you'll be going to the third happiest place in the state of Ohio. No, Walmart's number one. Yeah, you know it. It's Dollar General. That's the third happiest place in the state of Ohio. And then you'll go to the counter, the kiosk, or wherever you will find gift cards. And you will find a large stack of Lowe's gift cards with the amount of up to $500. And in this case, I got enough to pay for the project, which is about $1,500. So I got three $500 cards. So for this portion, you go and you download the Dollar General digital coupon app. I don't know why, but they picked Lowe's as one of the businesses that they will give you a tidy sum of 15% off of any gift card purchases. So in my case, I purchased $1,500 worth of gift cards, and I got a $75 discount per card with this deal. Now the caveat here is that you're supposed to only get one per transaction but as the cashier told me hey go get some of your friends to sign up and uh, use their phone number for the promo which uh, of course I did I'm a notorious cheapskate and this was totally in the rules so um, I used several phones and got a total of three cards and that led to 15 percent savings per card but wait there's more if you remember i said that i should not have gone to the bank i assumed that they would not let me purchase cards with a credit card of my own but it ends up they do so i used my capital one spark card which means i got a, a percent and a half back 
And I know that for the Dave Ramsey people, you're going to be mad at me because I used a credit card to buy a, a gift card. Um, so I've included this angry picture of Dave. This is the most angry picture I could find. He doesn't look that angry, but uh, uh, I thought he looked angry compared to what was on Google Images. So then we went to the second happiest place in the state of Ohio, which happens to be McDonald's because I had to buy my kids. They were not very happy that we were going to Lowe's. They, for some reason, like Menards more. Go figure. So we hung out at Lowe's for a while. My kids had the opportunity to watch a guy use a forklift to move several large pallets of tile from a third or fourth story rack down to the floor. They thought it was the greatest thing they've ever seen in their life. And I think all of them now want to become forklift drivers. I had to burn some time there while a digital coupon downloaded to my phone. Whether you knew it or not, Lowe sends out digital coupons all the freaking time. If you're a contractor, if you're on the rewards program, and believe it or not, there's places online that you can download them for about a dollar or two. I got on eBay, for instance, and looked, and there were thousands of them, including coupons for $20 off a $100 purchase. Um, but if you're a member of the Lowe's Reward group or whatever, you can get that 10% off easy. Um, they also have veterans discounts, which brings the total up now to 26.5% off of the flooring that I needed. So we ended up saving a crap load of money on the flooring. I called Sean and sent him a picture of my receipt showing him that after it's all said and done, I saved 26.5% off of the cost of the flooring, which is $1,800 all in all. I ended up with a total savings of about $477 on this transaction. Um, it's a situation where I run into these deals all the freaking time, and I figured since I hadn't put any content in the past couple days, I would break one of these date deals down that I did to save me almost $500 on flooring. Make sure you like and subscribe, and especially maybe consider hitting the notification button because I would love to do a deal breakdown on how I purchased 22 maybe 23,000 square feet of carpet for about six cents per square foot and that includes padding we actually filled up an entire warehouse with it and some of the carpet was the ultra premium stuff even that Lowe's carries and it was uh 325 a pound Mohawk brand and I got it for six cents um, and I do deals like that on a pretty regular basis, which I have fun with saving money and figuring out how to get things cheap. I know when me Kevin was out here, he couldn't believe that I could get a furnace for $600. And then in fact, just two weeks after he was here, I purchased four furnaces and three of them were only $200 a piece brand new. Um, so I'm going to be breaking those kinds of deals down here in the near future, which I just love talking about saving money. But this is the first time I've talked about it on the channel in this regard. Also, I forgot to mention that the people that we evicted came back the next day and had a yard sale of a bunch of different things, some of which were mine, which I found very interesting, and I forgot to take a video of it, so here is a still photo. And the rest of the walkthrough video portion of where the rehab was on this apartment as of two weeks ago. It's much further along, but um, I thought you guys would be interested in seeing what a property like that looks like after it's been cleaned out or at least somewhat remediated. This is the first coat of paint uh, on the floors, or not on the floors, but on the walls. Things of that nature to try and make it at least look cleaner. We are ripping the kitchen out right now along with the flooring that was purchased as a part of this video. I truly hope you find value in this video and you can save a little bit of money the next time that you go out and purchase some building materials. I know that it tends to be one of those things where people can get too busy and then it doesn't make much of a difference if you save money and then people earlier in the game that are pinching pennies. It's extremely beneficial to use these kinds of hacks or strategies to save money on things like flooring or painting or whatever and like i said earlier i hopefully i can bring out some more ideas 
and some strategies to save you guys money um, on your rehabs because that can help you maximize profit. And for a newer investor, it could be the difference between a non-profitable job and a very profitable one. I've met many people who've just totally overspent on jobs, and I've been that in that position before several times. So as time goes on, it just uh, bodes very well for everybody involved to do whatever it takes, or at least some useful things to save lots of money on your materials. And in this case, it's $500 for about two hours worth of time.